Hello friends, I'm Rahul Kumar and in this video I will explain you how to design a machine block in KDA V5 as you can see in this PDF here this image is here and in this video I will explain you how to design this machine block which is a part of a machine and uh, how to design it in KDA V5 with the help of all this command this whole command is here and with the help of all, all this command only I can design this whole machine block in KDA V5. In this design, first I will design this part, uh, this middle part here, and uh, later one I will uh, design this this other part here, and uh, also this two hole. So start this. So print it open now, and I will select a widget plane here. Here you can see in the image, uh, it's a uh, total length from this edge to this edge, it's 90 and it's a uh, pad value is given here 10 and from this edge to this center axis has a value of 46 and this outer cylindrical part, its radius is given here as a 20 here and this inner one has the value of 20 so I will design this two part and also from this edge to this edge we have to find its value here so here you can see its value is not given here so we have to find it, its value or you can uh, simply research it from here its uh, radius is 20 and here also 20 so its thickness is 40 so now I will uh, de design this whole part here From this edge to this edge, it has the value of 90 here. So here also it should be 90. And uh, this to a edge, it should be uh, connected with uh, this uh, cylindrical part here. So I will extend it. Now I will make uh, this edge to this circle as a tangent and this this height is from here you can see it's 10 here And here also uh, it's this height is 46 here now I will uh, trim this whole stop part here Now it's time to exit it, but here in the image you can see this one whole part is here, one other circle is here. So this also I will design here and its value is 20. Yeah, it's over now. Now I will To pad it, its value is given here from its total value is 75 here.
or uh, I can choose mid extent here. So to mid extent, it should be 37.5 here. So friend, here you can see it formed here. And the reason is I, I did mid extend here because you can see in the image here, this part is here. And so to de design this part, uh, mid extend will ha help us to design this whole thing here. Now I will uh, design this part here. So now, now I will uh, select uh, this part here. And here friend, as you can see in the image here, this whole part is on the downside of this part and uh, this length is here is not given actually so you can find it and its value from this edge to this edge it have the value of 30 and from this edge to this part this edge it have the value of 10 here and uh, this pad part also has the value of 10 so i will uh, design this whole part so this full length is 40 here from this edge to this edge and from this edge to this edge it has the value of 30 I will connect uh, this to edge here and uh, from this edge to this edge it has the value of 10 And in the same way from this edge to this edge, it also has the value of 30. And this thickness, it's have the value of 10. So friend, it formed now. Now I will exit from here. So friend, here you can see it uh, formed here now and uh, now it's time to design this two hole here so uh, to design this two hole you have to find its length and all the value its uh, radius is 6 here as you can see and from this edge to this axis it has a value of 37 and from this edge to this center axis it has the value of 70 here 20 here and 50 here so I will design all these things here now and from this edge to this edge it have the value of 15 here I will select this part I will come to the sketching one it has the value of 12 radius 6 from this edge to this it has the value of 20 and uh, from this to this it has the value of 15 and in the, in the same way I have to design the circle here In the image you can see its total length is 70 here now I will exit from here now I will remove this part okay so friend in the same way you you can design this whole this whole thing here in this side but uh, you with the help of this middle command you can simply create this whole, this whole thing here in this in this part here and uh, now i already selected a mirror command here now i will select this 
pad 2 now if we select this plane here you can see it it uh, it came here the same way i will uh, select this okay to one now mirror and this plane so friend here you can see this two thing it came on this uh, side also now it's time to design this part this uh, inclined part here you can see so so friend here uh, you have to keep one thing in mind that uh, to design this part you don't have to take the help of all these things you have to create one extra plane here with the offset of here you, you have to see this uh, plane is attached to this edge so so friend uh, from this edge to this if you if you want to create one extra plane here with reference of this edge so from this edge to this plane how much it should be far so to create all those things you have to do some research here so friend you can see this whole thing have the red have the length of 90 and from this edge to this part it has the value of how much 37 plus 6 how much it is 43 so 43 it is it means that uh, from this edge to this part it has a value of 47 so now i will create one extra plane here and with the help of this plane i can able to design this inclined part here so now I will select uh, this plane come to the sketching one so friend it, it, you can see here it came now now I will connect uh, on this two edge here and friend in the image you can see its uh, total height is 10 because its uh, pad thickness is also 10 here Now I will exit from here now. Now I will choose pad and its value is 6. Here in the image you can see its value is 6 here. I will give the value of 6. Now ok. So friend, as you design this pad and hole in, in this part, in the same way you do, you do not have to design this inclined part here again with the help of this extra plane. With the help of this mirror command, mirror command you can design this part here in this side. So to design it, you have to select a mirror command here. And now this pad 4 and now this plane. So friend here, you can see it. It came now. And, uh, and friend, now it's time to design this part, this inclined part here. To design this part, you have to again take the help of extra plane here. So, but in this in this one, you took the help of one plane which is parallel to this one, and uh, that plane also is parallel to this edge. Now you have to take the other plane uh, which is parallel to this edge and uh, this edge. So, to do, so to design it, you have to take the plane as a while plane here and now you have to select this plane you have to click on sketching one and you can see that it came on the center one also in the image you can find its value here its pad thickness is 10 but from this edge to this edge or you can find this edge how much it's it should be if you do all this research here you will find this uh, this whole inclined part is coming on the center plane here so now i will design the sketch here and now i will do all, all the things
so I will highlight all, all this part here it will help to design this inclined part and now I will create one uh, line here and now I will uh, trim all this extra part here So trend you can see here it form now mirror extend and its value it should be 3 because its a total pad is 6 now so in mirror extend it should be 3 because it will come in the other side 3 here and 3 in this part now ok so friend uh, you can see it so friend as per the image I designed this whole machine block here in this Katia V5 and if you want to color it uh, you can choose all these other part here and you can uh, color it now So friend, I hope you learn all this tool that how to design this this machine part in Kaga V5 with the help of all this tool here, all this tool, and I I hope you like this video. Thank you.